Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Symfony on Microsoft Windows 10. So this is Microsoft Windows 10. This should work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 as well. So here we are, go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to symphony.com. Okay, so that's the URL. And once you are here, go ahead and click download. So if you do not know what is Symfony, Symfony is basically a PHP framework that is being used by other frameworks like Laravel and CMS like Drupal. So to download and install Symfony on your Microsoft Windows 10, go ahead and click on this download. If it's not selected, go ahead and check click on this windows and hit this download setup.exe and this is very small uh, file here go ahead and open it once it's downloaded so just look for this particular package setup.exe depending on your browser choice this location may differ so if it looks somewhere on your screen just go ahead and click on it you may have to double click and then say yes on the window that you get and now this is where the symphony is going to be installed go ahead and say next 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 install and this is going to take some time okay uh, 20 MB data needs to be downloaded okay so this is downloading additional files okay, depending on the internet speed it may take a bit longer and can download quicker as well so my internet seems to be a bit slower so here we are just trying to download this 20 MB package and it's taking this long all right, so once we have Symfony installed, I'll quickly go ahead and make sure that Symfony is installed. And also we will create an application with Symfony. All right, so for documentation, you can simply visit this symfony.com and go to documentation. They also have a free video series. To get that free video series for Symfony 5, you simply go to symphonycasts.com and here is the symphony 5 courses link and you can see this one is completely free they have paid courses as well so you can try them but this is completely free to just introduce you to the symphony world hopefully it's been installed you can see and now you can go ahead and say finish what else now can simply go ahead and launch your command prompt and say symphony so this gives you all the options and commands that you can use with symphony all right so new to create new symphony project serve to run the server and you also can use composers so one thing that you want to make sure that you already have composer installed on your system so I assume that you already have composer on your system if you haven't go ahead and watch video on my channel how to install composer on Microsoft Windows now so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the directory to desktop and I'm going to create an application with symphony so what I'm going to say I'm going to say symphony and new and then the name of the application that is going to be demo app and it's going to be created somewhere on my desktop okay so this will take some time okay so you can see it's going to create an application here on my desktop and the name is going to be the name that we you have given in my case its demo app alrighty so 
this will take time people so in the meanwhile let's go ahead and have a look at the documentation so this is set up page you can go to create pages routing controller templates and configuration very basic stuff okay so for templates symphony uses twig so let's go to have a look at the uh, templates documentation so you can see it uses twig templating language which is a very famous and easy to use easy to learn as well templating language can be used on any PHP project All right so what do you need to do in order to use um, templates you simply say composer require template and this installs the package the twig package and also creates a template directory with a base template uh, in your project that looks I don't think okay that looks similar to I don't see that base template here on the screen all right so that's the templating engine that twig uh, that symphony uses let's go ahead and have a look at the another very interesting part that it offers and that is annotations so you can go ahead and create a controller for routing the use annotations okay very interesting very fun way to create application using this symphony 5 framework so to create routes with annotation you simply go ahead and run this composer require annotations cli command and this goes ahead and install the annotations in your project and then you start creating routes like this so you simply have to say in the multi-line comments within your controllers class just before the methods okay so you simply say add route and then you say where you give the slug and you also can give the name that can be used here in the method all right now uh, this is another way you can without annotations you can create a routing so you've got two options to create routing in symphony project okay and this seems to be easy to manage right so you keep you have everything on the same page so routing and the actions or you can say methods uh, controller methods so this annotation basically is coming from abstract controller class that symphony ships with so whenever you're going to use annotations make sure your class uh, controller class extends uh, abstract controller and then you also import that particular class here by saying this use symphony bundle framework bundle controller abstract controller you also have this route uh, class in, um, imported so matching expression let's quickly go ahead and see if it's been installed so you can see um, the project has been created now what I need to do I simply need to say I need to change the directory so demo you can see demo app is in, uh, created now I can change the directory and simply say symphony serve not server so it should run now here we go so symphony is running on this port 8000 localhost 8000 and here we have symphony it's fast and very fast so this is symphony 5.0.7 uh, let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the directory so what I'm going to do I'm going to kill the server so to kill the server you simply want to press ctrl C 
okay so a lot of uh, viewers say that you did not tell that you need to have PHP so it's a completely kind of I don't know what kind of question it is but if you're going to use any PHP framework <laughs> make sure you got PHP installed and composer installed alrighty I just wanted to make sure a lot of people starts comment uh, start commenting such things so what I was going to say yeah uh, so I'm going to get into demo app again and I'm going to use code to open this so Visual Studio code here it is and this is how it looks like people so in this uh, application we've got bin configuration public and this is what it's being viewed on when you launch it for the first time um, under config you've got everything all the configuration you can go ahead and use this raw routes.yml just by uncommenting it services that's a bit different thing in in the world of symphony public you already know so we've got everything in here so whenever you have to create any controller you simply come here and create the controller and you start using it so most of the time you're going to work in src folder only and once you've got templates that you can start using you may work in templates as well so that's it for this video it was a very quick introduction to this symphony framework which is gaining popularity recently alrighty so that's it for this video thanks again for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now